Hey everybody, Flubia Collector here. Uh, this is going to be part two of my uh, Cubs autographed baseball uh, collection. Um, there might be a few exceptions. I can't really remember exactly, um, but I don't. I don't think so. Um, in any event, um, all these that are going to be shown tonight are ones in which have either been authenticated by uh, Beckett, uh, JSA, uh, Fanatics, or um, Major League Baseball themselves, or they're just they haven't been uh, um, they haven't been authenticated at all. Uh, but those were uh, ones that I received in person, uh, most likely at the uh, uh, Chicago Cubs convention uh, that they held in uh, January each year. So anyway, uh, this is the part two. Uh, last video I did uh, showed uh, my PSA authenticated ones, and this is essentially going to be a batch that I'm going to submit to uh, PSA DNA. Um, uh, for authentication and um, anyway hope you enjoy okay here we go uh, the first one I'm gonna show uh, so the first lot is actually just gonna be um, Cubs players that weren't necessarily part of the 2016 World Series Cubs uh, these are just some of the additional uh, players that I have um, um, and this this first one is actually uh, uh, David Bodie um, and this this particular ball, uh, a friend of mine, uh, we took a trip out to Las Vegas, uh, Nevada, and it was spring spring training uh, going on, and uh, neither him or I had ever uh, gone down to uh, Arizona uh, to watch the Cubs spring training game. So he and I got the idea to go rent a car and drive down, and we like literally did. We drove down in the morning. Uh, took in a game, uh, drove back, uh, drove back home, or drove back to Las Vegas that night. And uh, while we were there, um, I had uh, I wanted to go take uh, some time to uh, run to the gift shop. And as I was walking back, I was staying in the back. We were we were sitting out on the lawn in the uh, uh, the home run area in right field. And uh, the Cubs were playing. I think it was the Japanese national team. It wasn't even actually against another major league team. Um, but in any in any case. Uh, David Bodie uh, rocked a, a home run to right field, and um, I'm up standing, uh, looking down at everyone sitting there, and my buddy's down there, and uh, where we were sitting, and uh, sure enough, uh, he he got the ball, um, he uh, and he gave it to me uh, for for my kids. So uh, I took the ball and got it authenticated. You can see here uh, on it, it's got the uh, Arizona uh, League. Um, uh, logo on it. Um, so anyway, that's the David Bodie ball. We'll send that in to get uh, authenticated. Um, here we have uh, Jose Quintana. Hopefully that clears okay. Or the, yeah. So Jose Quintana. We've got uh, Ryan Dempster. We got a couple uh, of this this guy, uh, Victor Caratini. Picked up both of those at uh, uh, Cubs convention. Let's see, we've got uh, Gary Matthews, the Sarge. Um, trying to remember. Oh, he was actually signing down uh, at the Cubs convention as well. I think most, pretty much all these are Cubs convention autograph balls. Um, he was down uh, possibly in the Legends Lounge area, um, and I was able to pick up uh, pick up an autograph of his. I always like the Sarge. We got Taylor Davis. He uh, he was known uh, kind of for being the guy in the minor league games for the Cubs. He. Uh, turn and face the camera from all different angles and then they zoom in on him and uh, he did that a few times while he was up playing playing for the Cubs we've got Dylan Maples he's a super nice guy uh, he spent some time in the kids uh, kids room uh, teaching uh, kids uh, how to pitch playing on this little miniature baseball field that they had created at the uh, Cubs convention Dylan Maples Steve Ciszek, uh, just the James Russell. I don't even know why I grabbed this uh, this one, but uh, 
wasn't even on a proper ball that I usually get uh, autographs on, um, and ended up not being even a, a very clean clean autograph. But uh, James Russell, and Luke Farrell, uh, decent autograph though, one you can practically read. Uh, And we've got, uh, so this particular one, this is actually was, uh, I got down at Wrigley Field when I went uh, to uh, to one of the games, uh, 670 The Score, which is, uh, the, the score is the, <clears throat> the radio sports uh, sports station, um, down at one in the uh, Chicago market. And uh, anyway, they're doing a remote broadcast outside of Wrigley Field. So I got <clears throat> uh, Dan Bernstein and Connor McKnight, uh, their show, um, uh is one of my favorite uh, sports shows. Um, Dan Bernstein, more more specifically, um, either either love or hate the guy. Um, and uh, Connor McKnight, McKnight, actually during all this Corona uh, virus stuff, he was actually uh, uh, let go, so he's not even with uh, with the score anymore. But picked up their autograph uh, on a ball um, uh, during the World Series year. They were not the uh, Cubs uh, partner uh, radio station, but they are now, so they broadcast all of the Cubs uh, radio games. So now going forward, all, all the ones going forward are going to be part of the 2016 World Series Cubs, uh, including, as you're going to see here in these next four balls, um, uh, either uh, some of the Cubs brass or uh, um, uh, radio uh, broadcasters. So the first one is the owner, uh, Tom Ricketts. He was generous enough to give an autograph. <clears throat> yeah, Crane Kenny. He's the business operations guy for the for the Cubs. Uh, he's been with them for years. And we got Jed Hoyer, Theo Epstein's right hand man. And the uh, primary Cubs radio guy, uh, just a legend in the radio broadcasting uh, games, is uh, Pat Hughes. Uh, he's uh, outside of Harry Carey and Jack Brookhouse. Um, he's, he's right there in terms of like the meaning for Cubs baseball. It's like I hear that sound or hear that, hear that sound of his voice and I immediately think of the Cubs in baseball. Um, so here now we got uh, moving into the players. Here we got uh, Anthony Rizzo. This particular one's already been authenticated by uh, Fanatics, um, I believe. And we have Javier Baez. This particular one is MLB authenticated, um, uh, and it actually was a season ticket holder gift um, from the Cubs. So one year. Uh, if you, they, they must have been pushing a particular payment method. So if you were to pay it a particular way, um, then they would include a Javier Baez autographed baseball uh, as the season ticket holder gift. So I thought that was really cool. So I made sure I paid uh, paid the, my season tickets that way, and uh, sure enough, it was included in the season ticket holder box. Uh, here, here we've got uh, Addison Russell. dealing with infielders. So we got Ben Zobrist, World Series MVP that year. Clutch double. Put the Cubbies up by one in the top of the tenth. We got another Jason Hayward ball. Uh, this one's not a very clean one. This was actually during one of the uh, Cubs convention um, uh, I think Ryan Dempster show or whatever. Uh, he was sitting kind of over our left in their Cubs area and uh, uh, my boy and my friend's boy uh, snuck over there and they were able to get his autograph but uh, and he was nice enough and gracious enough to sign, sign the ball anyway so um, uh, here we got uh, center fielder Dexter Fowler now with the dreaded St. Louis Cardinals we got Albert Elmora Jr. This was one I just recently picked up, actually, from a uh, from a guy I've met uh, at uh, the Cubs games. He's one that gets in line uh, quite early, and believe it or not, he was actually one of the 20 chosen uh, Cub fan ring ring bearers.
Bears that uh, was able to present the Cubs uh, their rings um, at the start of the 2017 season. Uh, I believe he uh, gave uh, Miggy uh, Montero his ring. Um, but in any event, uh, uh, he was doing a sale, and I picked up a, a ball that he had, which was this Al Mora Jr. And we got another Kyle Schwarber, my uh, Indiana Hoosier boy. Um, moving on, we've got, uh, this is actually a Montero ball. Good old Miggy. Um, I think I had also shared the story uh, last time. One of the best moments, uh, single sports moment. I think actually the single sports moment that was just insane that I've ever been at was the uh, his grand slam in uh, game one of the NLCS that 2016 year. That was an unbelievable experience, that moment. Uh, we've got one of my favorite pitchers uh, for the Cubs and will always be uh, Kyle Hendricks, the professor. Um, you know, I don't think he's ever going to uh, translate into a Hall of Famer by any stretch of the imagination, but his type of stuff really reminds me of Greg Maddox. Not that overpowering um, type of guy, but just precision, control uh, of his pitches, just mixes it up real well, um, and he's just really fun to watch. He he really ex gets everything out of, his, out of himself, um, and um, I really admire that. Um, but uh, Kyle Hendricks, uh, one of my favorite autographs that I have. Uh, Jake Arrieta. I'm with the Philadelphia Phillies now. Um, had an amazing two years with the Cubs uh, after coming, for, coming over from Baltimore. Uh, he was actually involved in a trade that brought uh, him and uh, Pedro Strope. Uh, Cubs uh, completely won, uh, won that trade. Um, not the most... Friendly guy, but still part of the team, so I wanted to get his autograph. Another CJ or at CJ Edwards. That basically scribbles. We got old Hector Rondone. Relief pitcher for the Cubs that year. Pedro Strope. Hate to say it, Pedro, but Many people love him, but he's probably my least favorite Cub player from that uh, that team. Um, probably close to this next guy, Aroldis Chapman. It's tough not to appreciate what he can do on the pitching mound, but uh, um, uh, he's he's just he never epitomized to me what a Chicago Cubs uh, player is. Um, but uh, in any event, uh, that rounds out the. Uh, the collection uh, and uh, we'll be submitting all of those baseballs in I might pull out a few maybe the Luke Farrell and James Russell I don't know why I should spend the money on getting them authenticated um, I might even pull that Hayward ball just because it's not a very clean <coughs> excuse me clean autograph but in any case wishing everyone uh, uh, a good uh, good evening and uh, hope everyone stays healthy and safe as we continue to be plagued by this uh, COVID-19 virus stuff that's going on. So uh, God's blessings to each and all of you and your families and uh, wishing you all the best. Take care.